next attraction achieves a realism seldom presented in any contemporary film. We predict it will remain in your memory as an incomparable emotional experience. Make your promise. The first thing you'll hear when you wake up will be me telling you I love you. The L-shaped room. The setting for a love story such as you have never seen before. Do you reckon we should have a license? Those two are taking the test next week. The L-shaped room. A story of two young strangers alone in a city of millions. We don't want this sort of thing in broad daylight. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. There's too much of it going on. Leslie Caron. The girl who lives in the L-shaped room. Tom Bell, the rebellious writer who falls in love with her. I know I can't afford it. I can't afford any of the bloody decencies of life. I can't afford to take you out. I can't afford to buy you a proper Christmas present. I, I can't afford even to be able to tell you not to worry. Look, I'm 28 years old and I'm still living from hand to mouth like a bloody tramp. The L-shaped room. A story both intimate and bold. Took no precautions at all, I suppose. No, 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 of course not. No, that would have spoiled the wonder of it all, wouldn't it? All that nasty clinical stuff. Yes, I know all about that. Well, what's he going to do about it? I'm sorry? Well, the young man, the proud father-to-be. I don't see. It's an aspect that concerns you, Doctor. The L-shaped room. A story both sentimental and jolting. I love you. That isn't a dirty word, is it? All I've had is two men. I'm 27 and only twice. That's all it's ever happened. So what does that make me? Now you've got that inside you. Living there and it's not mine. Do you understand that? It's not mine. Leslie Caron. A remarkable performance in one of the most stirring love stories the screen has ever dared tell. Yeah.